be back. Moving on to manual range intro. Oh, that's nice. So tutorial seven M one A two gun gun array six or gun array G. Oh, we got four more left. The game so far, let's do the last ring. My last four. Alright, so manual range entry. Learn how to manually enter a range value into a ballistic computer. Okay, let's. I'll be right back. Alrighty. If you find that your laser rangefinder LRF is damaged, you still have, fun you still have a functioning ballistic computer because it's inside your armor. You can still use the GPS by estimating the range of target manually entering into the ballistic computer. Or just, or just do what I do. Just Bye bye, shield over your pants. Although in a although in a battle situation, I, mean, I won't do that. <laughs> and still, beast M one A two is fully model interior, so you can mainly enter the range the same way a real gunner would. Probably grab the right side. The big thing we saw on the right by using the gunners the, the gunners control display panel G C P uh, G C D P while looking at the interior view in the gun's position. Keep pressing F one to see crosshair on the screen, which signifies that the eye movement is not linked to the mouse. Then scan to the right and locate the GCPD or GCDP. It looks like a keypad, then left click the round black button under the word sensor, which is displayed on the GCDP screen. You will enter another menu on the screen, now left click the black button under range, which under is misspelled, range, and now additional instructions will be displayed. Next. Left click on the digits for the range you want, and then left click the enter button. Go back to GPS F2. You should now see manual in range at the bottom of the site. Aim and fire as you as you always normally would. And tutorial your tank or have a damaged LFRP. Practice entering manual range and, f and firing targets. Okay, you can do that. Okay. Gunner, stable tank. So you're not working. We're not working. Let's see where this goes. I am not. I am not impressed myself. I do that all the time. Okay, let's try you. See me up a bit. Oh, what are you doing there? Thanks for telling me that guy exists. Okay. I just need to break, I need to break my uh, LRF more often. I know it costs like a couple thousand dollars, but okay. Oh, oh God. Be harder. Fire impact. Oh, Oh. Oh. Did we get it? Yep. Got it in the wheel. I got that guy a long way away. This will be fun. Nip short. I told you that. Don't know where that went. Force their mass. Can get the engine if I can. Over. Yep, thought. Yep. Gotcha! I don't know if that's my computer, but I don't have to start my computer work, or the uh, laser range fire working. I do it old fashioned style. I can use the wild whistle or something. Uh, I think we killed everything. Did we kill it? Oh. We didn't kill everything. What did you fire. save me to? Which one of these guys is still up? Wait, hold on. Switching to thermals. Fire. Got you, got you, got you. Oh, got you. Fire, fire. Oh, whoops. Over. Oh, whoa! Don't see me like that, man. Don't use your 100 secret system, doesn't help. Okay, maybe it does help a lot, actually. Fire, fire, fire. Oh, 
I'm busy engaging somebody. Oh, hi. Okay, you know what? Let's do this for this tutorial. Let's look at this thing. Okay, what do we got here? Sensors. Okay, so let's try 1,000. Uh, oh, all oh, right, it's, yeah, it's, it's, it's not touch screen. You the press the buttons down here, which corresponds to the, uh, to these. So turn, turn, sensors, range, oh, let's just say, let's say a thousand. That was zero, all right there. Oh, that's 99, that's not going to help. So one. Oh, there's zero. There we go. Enter. Now my gun should be saying a thousand. It's saying a thousand. Okay, that that, that looks pretty cool. Pick up. Short. Yeah, I know short. Up. Short. Oh. Not for a long as that short. short. What? If you think it's short, short. short. Yeah, it's dead. Reengage. Caliber 50. Oh, we're out. No, he's shooting for he's uh, he's shooting to the roof. Actually, I want to see this. You. Is he shooting? Okay, you can fire while you're not looking. Oh, you can, oh, wow. Does this screen actually work? It should. It does indeed. He just can't melt, he just can't miss a fit. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, they fit to kill my, my help here. Oh, we're hit. Oh, he tracked it. I think. Look, look at all the little blood flicking. Coax is down. Yeah, yeah. You got any other guns at work? Switch off coaxel. Ah! Any other guns at work? Oh, we well, oh. oh, we got some more guns at work. Unless, we got relo unless they reloaded it. Did you guys really play coaxels like a player from before? Indeed. So nice. Let's say the commander even wants to play with this empty gal. Oh, okay, moving on. Okay, well, we, we ace that. Aside from the actually pointing it into the thing ah. and actually learning the ranges of stuff, but back. Nah. Three. You lost three vehicles? What? Okay. We're right back. Moving on to H. So, mission eight. M1A2 Gunnery H. Emergency fire control mode. Learn how to aim and shoot in emergency fire control mode. Okay, well, I wonder what that is. Will it be able, will it let me do better aim better or, hmm, or uh, more? Or, hmm. Be right back. Alrighty. Until. Up until now, you operated the main gun in normal mode, which provides power to stabilize control of the gun, super elevation, and automatic lead. If your tank loses elevation, though, normal mode will no longer be able to provide proper super elevation and lead. In this case, you must switch to emergency mode, which provides powered, unstabilized control of the gun. Because if it wasn't powered, how would you manage to move what four tons of gun? Because I want to train the gun is heavy. So, okay, moving on. Unlike normal mode, in which the gunner's control handles move GPS and the gun follows, emergency mode, the gunner's control handles move the gun and GPS follows. Right, this is going to be interesting. Because the gun is unstabilized, firing should be done only at halt. Let me 
if you're like me. Automatic bar or automatic lead is not enabled or it's not added to emergency mode, so you have to you have to lead manually. That's fine by me. Fortunately, super elevation is still calculated as long as your computer is not damaged. But it is applied in the GPS head or the GPS head mirror, not the gun. Which what this means is that if a new range of energy bus computer the fuse the GPS w will jump up or down the gunner must then move the gun so the center of the radical is on the target okay that's kind of interesting in this tutorial your tank will be will have a damage to position system practice aiming and shooting a target to damage the mode and still be pressing period that helps key will switch to fire control mode to pressing period or pressing combo will switch back to normal mode this will also set fire control mode to the menus right get it I can do that you can left click the SCM box or the left click on the screen. Alright, got it. So left click on the screen. Gunner, stay both tank. I'll get to that in a second. Wait. That. Oh, this is gonna be fun. Yeah, this don't work. I wonder why. Now, where are you? Oh, I think I just, I think I just locked the gun. Oh, I, oh, I turned on emergency mode, right? Fire! Okay. Target. That works because the gun was already pointed at it. Okay, am I still moving the Re gun with my sight is what I want to know. You know, you know, you have to be Fire. moving the gun separately from your sight in real life, but, you know, everything's through the controller. Okay, let's aim, let's aim for you again. Uh, let's, yeah, let's aim for you. Okay, that's fine. Now yeah, I moved the gun, pretty much. Up. Yep, yep. Oh, there we go. Things have just gotten yeah. even easier. I swear, I swear what is with me? DC, How can I do this? Okay. Up. Over. High. Up, Below. This side move. Oh, no. Nope. Gotcha. Oh, that's it. She'll thank that one. Okay, Mr. Long Range. Which is the Long Range site. Oh, that's making me difficult for me. That's fine. Oh, I hit him. I think. Oh, we ran out. Okay, I'm out. Ah, don't sleep. I'm busy. I got him, guys. I got him. Gotcha. Not to I, I, dudes, I know I know you like using hunter killer system, but I, I, I seriously, I'm busy. George. I'm busy owning everything in sight. Nope. I'm engaging. I've got them already, guys. I've got them already. Wow. Okay. Note to self: turn emergency mode on at all times. Unless oh, because I have really trouble aiming. Which is that gonna happen off? I think we got everything for once. Our shrink. Oh wait, no. I don't think you're. I think I don't got you yet. Ah! Oh, I I know I shamed a little bit or. Sure, I'll get you. Sure, we can go. Fire! Here you go, everybody. Uh, okay, yeah. Note to self, turn off, uh, turn off the mode switch to emergency. Do it old fashioned style. Kills five. In percentage uh, 64, I can do better than that. I can definitely do better than that. I was trying to kill what, 50, uh, 42.5 seconds, okay. Okay, remember, period and comma, just switch between those. Oh, that was good, okay, I felt, I felt good that time. 
All right, let I'll get with it. No, and, be, and I'll be right back. All righty. Try control mode. Okay, so mission nine, M one A two, gunnery I, the auxiliary or the gunner auxiliary sight. Learn how to use the gunner's auxiliary sight. He says to aim and shoot targets. Okay, and then we do um, last gunnery, and then we'll have to pick up the rest of tutorials another time because I'm out of time for the night for this game. I've been out of time for a while now, but I really wanted to play this. And I, I, mean, I love it. Okay. Simulation, of course. Uh, I'm really loving the simulator. I mean, okay, before I put these words down, I I gotta think about it for a sec. Sorry, squishing here. Ah! You know, it's better. But, I mean, ignore that. I'm not even gone. I'm not even gone now. I have to pitch all to get the earwax off my ear. But anyway, so, I mean, the. This may be my favorite simulator of all time. I mean, what's better? I mean, what, what do I what 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 do I like what what do I like more? What do I like more? What what is the simulator which I like more than this game? Or similar? Uh, pretty much X plane. Pretty much explain. That's about it. That is pretty. Uh, I mean, all the simulators I played and seen, this is by far my favorite so far. Uh, uh, wait, I should probably play another simulator after this. Uh, I mean, yeah, then there's nothing much I added to my list of things I want to uh, play for my birthday, which I've been meaning to do for a long time. I might as well do them now. And there's no better occasion than turning 22, I suppose. Um, but anyway, so, well, we're moving on. That, that's, that's the description for, for the end of the session. But anyway, so, I mean, this is, yeah, this is my favorite simulator I've played. Of oh, all simulators I've ever played, it's by far my favorite. It, it's that good. I mean, better for the price, but yeah. Uh, I mean, I, I was, I was kind of half expecting this thing more of a, you know, it is a simulator, simulator. But it doesn't act like one. It acts like... It acts like a half similar, half arcade game, like, uh, like half, the, like half the all the server games, or older games from or these Strike Fighter series, you know, all, older series is which that genre, which that sub genre kind of got out of, uh, kind of got on the, kind of got out of the limelight. Uh, it's now either full blood simulators like DCS. Or games that want to be it, like War Thunder, or or arcade games like Ace Combat. There's not much in between anymore. And this game is a full blown simulator, and it, and you can play it like an you can play it like an arcade game. You don't need to memorize thousands of controls. I mean, yes, you kind of do, but they're all you know. But all you gotta really memorize is pressing Q and Z um, to go in and out of your sights, and then. Memorizing to move your mouse up here, and memorizing which menus do what, and of course you can go through these tutorials for easily enough, and press and then learn the buttons or use the manuals. Have the manuals for right now and just and just look at them for the for the hockeys. Because I mean, it's not like these are hard concepts to learn. It's not like flying a plane. You're com you're driving a tank. You know, even Abrams is can only be so advanced until you get to pl until you get to planes. But, I mean, they can be so advanced for tanks. And remember, remember the only remember really the only crewman in the tank that's an officer, which you need to be, which you need to be a lieutenant, you need the base rank to be a pilot or uh, lieutenant or ensign, depending on the Air Force and Navy. That's base officer in order to be a pilot. If you can't be a pilot unless you're an officer in all the in all the services in the United States anyway. In, anyway, but to drive a tank, to gun a tank. I mean, thinking to command a tank, you don't need an officer at all. So that's that. And also, unlike planes, which do you, which your responsibilities are going to be split up against two people at most, unless of course you're in a, a big plane like an AWACS or a transport, um, or P3 or something. But they're not really combat roles. Yeah, uh, yeah. I'm not, I'm not hopping on uh, tank crews in at all. I'm just saying that. Yeah, I mean, the 
scheme is really good, and uh, simulator is really good. It's a really good simulator for one. Of course, it has to be at this point, but it's also a really good game. Like, for example, um, Arma, and it and its offshoots are really good simulators. They're not very good games. Rising Storm 2 is like this. It's a really good simulator and a really good game. Um, then you got also Stimmervik, which jumps from being really good simulator to really good games, but they really but they really good in between. Uh, what's a good simulator game flight game? Uh, I can't really think of one off the top of my head at all. I mean, I, all other than some also Stimmerviks. So yeah, we'll, we'll 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 talk about this. We'll talk about this later. Um, again, after we get through this or talking during the exercise. All right, so yes, let's be right back. All righty. So, okay, so in all previous tutorials, you have been using Gunner's primary sight, GPS. You search and aim for targets. As a Gunner, as long as your tank is fully is functioning properly, you spend most of your time at the GPS. However, if the GPS becomes damaged, you only switch over to the gun's auxiliary sight, GAS. You might also want to switch to the GAS in the F in the F or L R F or ballistic computer. There are there there are other times that the GAS can be useful as well. Only the GPS, which is extremely fragile periscope, that per or per well, let's try again. Which is an extremely fragile periscope, which gives you from the top of the turret a GAS is a, is a sturdy eight times telescope. Yes, so saying a telescope is looks fragile than a periscope. But remember the, I believe the, um, if you know what neighbor, if you know what neighbor looks like, you know that big box to the right of the gun on top of the turret. That's the gunning sight. That's the GAS or the GP, uh, GPS. The telescope is right along the barrel. You don't really see it from the outside, but you see it on the inside as the telescope that's in the tank. So yeah. Anyway, so that's found very close to the gun tube and moves the gun tube, which extremely hard to get your head around, which that is why you GSS most of the time, but if you can't, forget that. So the GSS, or the GPS, I mean, the GSS will, will always give you a view of what the gun can see, so it's useful making sure your gun is clear of a hail crest that might be hiding behind, other, other than the GPS, which is on top of the dirt, so you're always over the you're always higher than the gun, and you're always more to the right of the gun than the GAS is. Alright, so when using the GSS to shoot targets, you have to manually add super elevation and lead, that's fine with me. If you know the range to the target, then adding super elevation is easy to line up the targets with proper with popular with proper with proper horizontal with proper horizontal line of the GAS vertical. The range in hundreds of meters is displayed on the right of each line. The range of a tank can be estimated by fitting the tank inside the strata lines on the top of the vertical. This assumes that the tank is 2.5 meters lo meters high. Which, in a modern day, you can get away with, unless you're fighting Cold War tanks, which in an Abrams you're doing all the time. I was going to say most of the time, but seriously, when has an Abrams fought a modern day tank? It's always fighting these poor, sad T-62s, and maybe T-72s if the T-72s are lucky, but then again, they're not lucky for fighting the Abrams. So, yeah. Well, moving on. I, I mean, I guess the T-72s are modern tanks-ish. A modern tank size-ish, but I love it, by the way. Alright, moving on. So, who did you do? Oh, yes. Adding, adding lead is more difficult depend, it, because it depends on the lateral speed of the target and takes a lot of practice. Which, that's natural to me. So anyway, to use a GSS and still beast, press the F2 key or use menus, or use menus, or jump into, the, or jump into the gunner seat and then click on the thing in the, in the uh, which is, which we saw it's diagonal from the main gun. There are two verticals for the GSS, one for the APFSD, S, sable, uh, sable rounds, and the other for a, um, heat rounds. You toggle between the two by pressing R key. Right click, uh, right click on the vehicle, aim box, or uh, uh, at the left of the GSS screen, or by using menus. Uh, of course, you should select the reticle that corresponds to the round loading the gun. That, that is right. That would be silly to do otherwise. In story, you should practice aiming and shooting with the GSS sight. 
Try estimating the range of the target using spell lines and the vertical, and then see how close you came by lasering the target in the GP in G PS. Notice after you lose the target in the GPS, the target will be lined up in the proper range line on GSS, assuming the target is centered in the GPS. Since the proper simple elevation is added in the end after lasering. You might also find an restricted view in GSS when lasering by moving a target. See how the lead see how much lead is added to the gun and to the main gun. Remember the GSS is attached to the gun, so it moves and the gun moves, yep. So when everything's broken, that still works as it should. Alright, so like I said, we will aim Go here. Turbo tank. Go here. Alright, so your plus excite. Okay, aim at meters, aim at meters. Oh, okay. What's center? Center is center on sight, right? Makes sense. Oh, wow, they really make it so you can aim up. Okay. First off, let's see where this goes. Aim for the engine. Oh. Oh, that's Over. the middle line. That makes ah, sense. Re Fire! Jimmy, he's around. Gotcha. Dang. Not bad. Ah, PC. Get a team more higher and then aim for higher. Hey, oh, my, I missed it. I'm too much high. Really? Oh, Lower then. Up. Yep. He went down the hill. Fire. Oh. We hit him? No, we didn't. He's still moving. Stop. Fire. Oh. Short. Yep, yep. Not that I was shooting that guy. No, I feel like it was like when I'm playing the commander. Oh, Short. yeah. I oh, oh, he's moving the angle like. Right, cheating. Over. Oh, he stopped. Now oh, he's taunting us. Let's see what we got on that time. Oh. Yeah, this guy's actually made, this side's actually made for what I'm trying to pull with. Well, I'm trying to pull with the other sides. It has so many of the markers. Okay, I'm mostly ignoring. I think that's a tank. I think that's a tank. I don't know what my sight's trying to do with pulling to the side like that. Too high. Ah, low. Ah, Gum. Remember, because of smoke. Ring remember, game. if you're shooting the smoke, ah. it doesn't really matter if he doesn't move. Fire. If he hadn't moved, and if he did move, you can just guess by leading. A little high. Gotcha. Last Sabo! Dang! Ah! Yeah, so let's over. Sabo. I think we caught our friend for two. We got it, but okay, good. Well, actually, now we should probably be looking at our. Uh, our uh, we should probably be looking at our. Uh, distances. So, what are you? 1600? Uh, just under 170. So just somewhere 170 is right there. Okay, it's not that big. Uh, I always wanted to learn how, how to measure stuff, how to measure meters with a gun sight, but I've never been too much good at it. I much prefer just shooting from the shooting from the hip, as it were, aiming without truly aiming. I think my, I think my mouse is just getting it's just running a bat it's just running on batteries. Okay, four legends, pretty terrible still. Because remember, the aim scare is like, what, 40 rounds? So, yeah. Alright, we'll be right back. Alright, moving on. Final thing. Final thing for the gunnery sites. Alright, so, uh, drill 10, M1A, M1A, M1A2. You just gotta get my mouse movements correct. 
Cause I, I, I could, I, you know, I can tell you, I can tell you if I'm reading it or just, for, or basically just. I guess that's, that's the thing about me is I don't, I, mean, I don't read words based on how they're spelt. I read words based on how they feel. Kinda. It's it's hard it's hard to say, but basically, when I when I say a word, it's not because I saw it spelt that way. If I saw it spelt that way, I'll say it completely differently than what I just said half the time. But yeah, basically, when, when my speech is about just pronounce, it's just about saying sounds as opposed to saying w letters meaning to words. So yeah. Alright, which M1A1, or M1, M1A2, is, I say that as one word, I don't say it as M, stop, one, stop, two, or A, stop, two, stop. I say one big thing, M1A, M1, M1A2, which is why I'm so used to saying, I'm so used to saying M1A1, so when I say M1A2, I get junked on it, I get, you know, I get confused because it's just, you know, it's just one, it's just one, it's just one number, but my eyes and everything about me says it's not just one number. All right, by the way, so it was a mouth, my manual fire control mode. Learn how to aim and shoot and and shoot the manual and and manual fire control mode. Keep okay, it right back. All right, the manual manual fire control mode is a backup for both emergency and, and normal fire control mode. Manual mode does not provide power control of the gun. Oh, that's gonna be fun. The gunner must turn and crank him with the gun, as in. Really, really classic, as in pre-World War II classic. Aside from Russian tanks, again, Russian tanks forget everything apparently. Uh, which, like Russian tanks forgot power steering for some reason. I mean, yeah, I've, I've heard that when uh, Abramses were engaging T-62s, that they had to manually crank their turrets. Which I don't think that's. A, which should be a, they, they might not be a Soviet thing. Might be just an Iraqi thing. No, you know when the, when Iraq was the bad guy, controlled by Saddam Hussein, the bad guy, which we forgot about nation building. Which that's the common misconception about the about the Iraq war is oh we nation built actually no we didn't that's the problem. If we nation built Iraq, help them make themselves democracy, they might not have slipped into terrorism. So well not all of course not all of them but some of them. Especially the uh, Iraqi military. By the way, so as in uh, emergency mode, automatically it's not added to your gun. Manual mode should be used if the tank has lost control of power. That's a challenge, but okay. And still, be it's only the arrow keys of the gun in manual mode. Each press of the arrow key is like a turn of the hand crank in a real tank. The faster you press the keys, the faster the, t the turret remote. Ooh, okay. That's pretty cool. That's not mini games at all. Uh, oh, that's in probably only simulators, and I don't. And I don't Basically, uh, I know of two tank simulators, two full-blown tank simulators. This, the classic version, which is what they call the original version, the classic, and let me right back. No, not be right, not be right back. I mean, looking at Steam because I always forget the name of the game. But basically, it's a, uh, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, uh, it's a, uh, it's a tank simulator on Steam which uses the M63 and M and T and is it T62 or is it T54? I forget. Which this game has it too, which is pretty nice. So I don't really need the other one, but that's fine. Uh, oh, Steel Armor, Steel Armor is what the name is. Steel Armor is the name of the game. Steel Armor, uh, Steel Armor, um, Steel what? Sorry, uh, looking up. Steam stuff on Wii is pretty hard sometimes. Steel armor blades of all right. However, of course, that is twenty nine dollars ninety nine cents. This is a hundred plus, or it's just shy of plus a hundred of that. How are you getting this for a year? Which that's not exactly a good deal. You can get that permanently. And it's on Steam, which I, there's a lot of people that like. There's, there's a lot of people that that buy games. They buy digital games strictly on Steam. So, yeah, which I don't blame them. But, yeah, I mean, uh, yeah, I mean, uh, however, that game just has the two tanks. It has DLC, which adds you a new theater, but still the two tanks. They're mostly just the same this game now that I know, not, not, I know about it. So, uh, now that I've played it, so, yeah. If, of course, those things are equally modeled in this game as they are in that game, which they should. Which we'll check real quick. Uh, by the way, so instead of these, it's just 
Ninstor tank buff damage to Drolux, which also disables stabilization. This mode is the only way to steer, laze, or shoot the gun in normal or military mode. Practice saving chain targets manual mode, using GSS. This step is pressing forward slash, there you go. He will switch fire control mode to manual pressing, comma, will switch you back to normal mode. Right, guys. You can also set the fire controls. Okay, let's just go. Okay, so that won't help us. Oh, it's working. I'm gonna play dead. You're done, me. Alright, so see, the site is not moving. So let's switch over to manual for slash. So not moving. It's just anchoring. You gotta right. tap it. We do not have the guns loaded. Oh, the guns are not loaded. They are prepared to be loaded. We got ammo in our guns. Why can we not fire our three guns? Definitely not meant for people with, uh, with has good stuff or various reasons which they can't spam buns quickly. Any uh, switch button? Oh, I think it's a switch. Right, of course. Right, yeah. No, let's try this again. You might do something. Enjoy it. That's where the solar is from. You can see the bottom left. Okay, that's where it is. I was looking for that. Okay, that just got weavered. Yeah, we'll get it. Alright, that's fine. We are back. So that's all the gunnery stuff. Pretty self-explanatory. You know what? How about let's try tank range again? 